everybody, JC here, and welcome to my trip to Hascon. So if you didn't catch my news video the other day, I mentioned how I'm going to be driving up to the Hasbro convention that takes place this weekend, and it's about a seven hour drive for me, and I figured I'd make some stops along the way, checking out Walmarts and Toys R Us's and, and Targets that I pass and see what kind of toys they have. So first of all, real quick, now this is Thursday, I'm, I'm recording this on Thursday, Hascon starts tomorrow on Friday, and that's where a lot of the news is actually going to take place. So if you're watching, I'm probably not going to get this video uploaded until tomorrow on Friday, so you're probably watching this and Hascon coverage will probably be starting in a couple hours. So be sure to check the websites, TNI, tformers.com, marvelousnews.com and JediInsider.com for all the latest happenings with uh, Star Wars, Marvel, and, and Transformer products. But today, I, along my trip, I'm going to be making stops, and I'm about to make my first stop. It's a Super Walmart. I've never been to this Walmart before. It's just outside of Baltimore off of Pulaski Highway, and I'm hoping maybe I'll find the new uh, three and three-quarter inch Black Series Last Jedi figures that are Walmart exclusives and maybe they'll have some other cool things. But let's head inside and see what they actually have. Now I should mention as I'm heading into this Walmart that I'm about an hour into my trip. I've got about six hours to go. It's about two o'clock Eastern time. So just kind of giving you a time mark on, on how this trip progresses. But we're heading into Walmart now and we'll see what they have. Okay, so here we are at the Star Wars section and they have no new Black Series stuff, just older figures. This is the same stuff that's at my local Walmart. So that's disappointing that they don't have the new three and three quarter inch Last Jedi figures. Not much for a multiverse. They do have the Super Friends Batman figure. And an older Joker figure, the Dark Knight Joker. Some Suicide Squad movie, but not a whole lot here. So here in the middle section, they do have some more Black Series stuff. Some leftover Darth Vader's and Kylo Ren's for the Last Jedi wave. Some Funko Pops. And they also have the six inch land speeder and Ray. First time I'm seeing Ray in the store. Okay, so they didn't have a whole lot there. They did have the Ray, the six inch Black Series Ray and Speeder, which is the first time I've seen that in the stores. But other than that, they really didn't have anything terribly exciting. Nothing that wasn't at my local Walmart. So a little disappointing. Now, I don't know how many places I'm actually gonna be stopping along this trip. Um, you know, really it's just as I come across them, I'll probably stop. But again, I don't know exactly how many there'll be. Hopefully as we get closer, you know, I'm heading towards, essentially towards Hasbro's headquarters. That's the area where this Hasbro convention is gonna be taking place. So maybe as we get closer to Hasbro, the stock of Hasbro products will get better. I don't know. But anyway, um, like I said, I'm getting back on the road and we'll see where the road takes us. Okay, so before I could get back on the highway, I came across a Walgreens here, so I'm going to go in here and check it out and maybe find that new Marvel Legends Human Torch figure. Probably not, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed. So they do have the invisible woman. No sign of Human Torch. Moon Knight, Loki from the Thor Ragnarok, Guardians of the Galaxy. They do have the multiverse exclusive. Netflix Daredevil, Ant Man. Walgreens exclusive Daredevil. No sign of the human torch. Okay, so the Walgreens, that Walgreens was certainly better stocked than the ones near me, but still no sign of the Human Torch, unfortunately. They did have Invisible Woman and some of the other Marvel Legend exclusives. They had uh, Netflix Daredevil and Moon Knight and some other figures as well. And then also had that DC Multiverse exclusive Flash figure. Now, I didn't get the Flash. I thought about it, but honestly, that figure really doesn't do much for me. The only interest I have in that figure is the alternate head for the Dark Knight Armored Batman figure. 
but honestly I just can't see it's worth paying 20 bucks for just for that alternate head so I went on and passed on that I'm getting back on the road now again I don't know where I'm gonna be stopping next but time will tell hey everybody all right well now I'm in Delaware I'm not exactly sure where in Delaware but I'm stopping at another Walgreens and then there's a Toys R Us right down the street so once again I'm hoping to maybe find that Marvel Legends Human Torch figure here at Walgreens and then we'll shoot down to Toys R Us and see what they have okay so they've got some old Black Series figures Finn, Ray, Kylo Ren they do have the Multiverse Flash and then they got the Punisher Invisible Woman, some older Daredevil. So we're at Toys R Us now, and not much here. Kylo Ren, Zuvio, Captain Phasma. I haven't seen Phasma in a while. We got the Porg, Kylo Ren's lightsaber, the BB-8 playset, life-size land speeder for the young kids. Not much for Marvel Legends. Spider-Man Homecoming two-pack. That Guardians of the Galaxy 2-pack. Nothing really for Multiverse. A Batman figure. MP Optimus Prime for Transformers. Fortress Maximus. Unicron. Not much else. So Delaware stores are not impressing so far. Nothing really at the Walgreens or the Toys R Us. There's a Walmart less than a mile away here, so I'm going to go check that out. And hopefully maybe we'll find something. Okay, so I finally hit the jackpot here at this Walmart. They do have the new three and three quarter inch Black Series figures. Luke, Rose, Lay is an old figure. So they don't have them all, unfortunately. No Victorian Guard. Maybe I'm going to pick up. Oh, wait. I take that back. They do have them. Sweet. And they have the Stormtrooper. Looks like this is the only Praetorian Guard they got, so definitely going to pick these up. They also have the new Wave 1 6-inch figures, which uh, there's Hera, Grand Admiral Thrawn, Hodameron, Zubio, and then they got basic. But I'm pretty happy because definitely found the figure I was looking for. Kylo Ren, Stormtrooper, Luke Skywalker 6 inch version, Darth Vader. But yeah, definitely these are the ones I was looking for. I do actually have two more Platorian Guards, so might get two of those guys. And for everything else, some old Marvel Legends, some Thor Ragnarok figures, but just Loki and Thor. That's really it, not a whole lot with Marvel. Alright, so happy that I got lucky at the Walmart and finally got these uh, 3.75 inch Black Series Last Jedi figures. I did get two of the Platorian Guards. And then I got a Luke Skywalker. Wasn't too fond of this figure, but went on and got her anyway. Not really liking this head sculpt, but like I said, decided to go and pick her up anyway. And then did get the the Executioner Stormtrooper. So I still got about five hours left on my trip, so I'm going to try and make up some time. I'm probably not going to stop any place until after I get through New York City, so probably a couple hours out. I may try and hit up some more Walgreens if I come across any just to see, you know, still trying to get that Human Torch figure. And then, you know, maybe Toys R Us having that second wave of six inch black series. I didn't get any of the first wave here because I got the ones I wanted off of Amazon and they should actually be waiting for me when I get back from Hascon. So I didn't pick any of those up, but they did have the entire wave there of the first wave, which was pretty cool. All right, so getting back on the road and I'll be chatting with you soon. Hey everybody, JC here. I'm now in Connecticut and I'm hitting up a Toys R Us here. Gonna see if they have the second wave of Black Series, Last Jedi Black Series six inch figures. There's a Walgreens down the street and I'll probably check that out too. This will probably be my last stop till I get to my hotel. I'm about two hours out from, from the hotel and, and getting to my destination for Hascon and it's about 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. So let's head into Toys R Us and see what they got. Okay, so right off the bat here at the entrance, they do have the Commander Gree exclusive figure, a couple of those, some basic figures. 
not seeing any other black series. It's back here in the main section, pretty much the same thing, some Rogue One stuff. No black or no Last Jedi black series. Marvel Legends, I got some Netflix, Daredevil and Punisher, that's it. Dazzler, the Guardians of the Galaxy. Now here's a rare find, 40th anniversary Death Squad Commander. I'm definitely picking this one up, I still haven't found this guy, it's the first time I've ever seen this guy in the store. Sweet. Transformers, I got six shots. Sky Shadow. Trypticon, same usual multiverse stuff they always have. Justice League back. Some Funko Batman figures. King Tut. So we're at the Walgreens now. Got Keen. Some older Marvel Legends. Spider Man, older Spider Man. Green Goblin. Looks like the same man we have to do. No human torch. We do have the flash. But again, no sign of the human torch. Okay, so this is kind of freaky. There's this big cliffside here near the Walgreens. There's a house way up there. And I'd hate to be afraid of heights and live in that house. So nothing at the Walgreens, unfortunately, no Human Torch. I'm kind of thinking that maybe the Human Torch hasn't made it to East Coast Walgreens. I don't know, but it doesn't look like I'm going to find it on this trip. But overall, you know, I'm pretty happy with, with my finds. Finding that Death Star, uh, Death Squad Commander was kind of a lucky find. Um, it was kind of off to the side at that Toys R Us, and it was the only 40th anniversary figure they had. And like I said, I've not yet seen that figure on store shelves. So pretty happy to find that one. And then the Walmart where I got those uh, three and three quarter inch uh, Last Jedi figures was pretty happy about those, the Black Series ones. So, like I said, pretty happy. Didn't find the second wave of six inch Black Series figures, but you know, I'm sure in a couple weeks those will be out in, in much greater number. I don't know if Toys R, you know, Toys R Us got those like one cases on Force Friday, and I don't know if any of them have restocked since then. I, I haven't heard of anybody finding them since Force Friday, so I'm not sure what the status is, but definitely no sign on this trip. And so probably we'll have to wait, you know, like I said, a few weeks or so before other stores actually start getting that wave. But I hope you enjoyed this uh, toy hunt video. Now, like I said, this video, even though I'm filming it on Thursday, probably won't go up until Friday morning, which is the day Hascon starts. So if you're watching this video, then, you know, be sure to head over to the websites and check out Hascon coverage starting around 1130 a.m. Eastern Time. That's when the Transformers panel is going to kick off and then I don't know what to really expect. Like I said, this is the first year Hasbro's done this convention and I honestly don't know what to expect, how many kind of reveals we're going to have. I suspect that Transformers is going to have the most reveals out of the three different brands, Star Wars, Transformers, and and Marvel Legends, but I don't know for sure. I, you know, Kind of because this convention is kind of replacing BotCon, so that's why I feel like Transformers is probably going to have the most emphasis and the most reveals. You know, we still got New York Comic Con next month, and then I think Hasbro said they're also going to be revealing something at the London Comic Con for Marvel. So, you know, they kind of got to break that up. And then we had all the Star Wars reveals last week. So, again, I, I really don't know how much in the way of new stuff we're going to see for those brands. But hopefully something decent um, or a few decent things um, for all three. But, again, be sure to, you know, check out ToyNewsEye.com, JediInsider.com, MarvelousNews.com, and Tformers.com for all the latest coverage. I'll try and get a video up recapping the day's events and, and news either late tonight or meaning Friday night or early Saturday morning and then, um, you know, basically go from there. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. If you've been on a recent toy hunt, let me know if you found anything good. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Hope you enjoy the Hascon coverage, and as always, you know, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. I have links to those in the video description below. And until next time, guys, I will catch you later.